This is Twit. John Ashley, pick up another caller, or should I do email? Let's, or do, it, let's do an email. Do you do an email? Yeah, I wonder he's, why. I wonder why I'm pushing your email. no good. I can tell when I hear that. Let's do an voice. email. Let's do an email. It's a little Maybe bit Irish. There's something in the email that's worth looking at. Uh oh, it's printed upside down again. Uh, iPhone 15 charging optimization. Okay. This is from Dave in Medina, Ohio. I just received my new iPhone 15 Max Pro Max. Uh huh. I'd like to hear the pros and cons using optimized battery charging versus the 80% limit under the charging optimization menu. So this is something brand new that Apple added. There is a switch now in your battery settings that you can say, never go past 80%. You know, on many EVs, electric vehicles, the manufacturer recommends, unless you need all the range, charge to 80%. Why, you might ask. Well, the reason is, when you charge to 80%, you're not always using the same 8 out of 10 battery cells. There's some wear leveling going on. And so the idea is we're going to get, uh, at any given time, we're going to give a rest to a fifth of the batteries in, you know, a fifth of the cells in your battery, and that will extend the overall life of your battery. Now, Apple has always had, or at least in recent versions, optimized charging where it notices what you need mm -hmm. in the phone and then decides and you might have seen this from time to time when you plug in your phone or put it on your charger you might have noticed that it says well on optimized charging in effect i will reach 80 percent by 6 a.m so the question is do you do it manually to tell it always 80 percent the advantage of that is you leave it at 80 percent and the days you know i'm going to need more you turn that off. Mm -hmm. Or do you let iPhone handle it itself? Uh, I've gone back and forth. And I've decided to let iPhone handle itself. What do you do? That's what I do. So this is the 80% limit is new with iPhone 15 Just models. came out. Yeah, no yeah. other phones can do that. And it it is something... I See, I don't like this new feature. And the reason why is because I think it introduces too much anxiety into people's decisions about their batteries. We, I, I hear so much misinformation surrounding battery life on phones and charging and what people should do and shouldn't do. And if we would let go and let God, as uh, <laughs> Summer wants to say, uh, if you just let it do its thing, it does it very well. And that's why I think that the optimized battery charging thing works well. So Apple, the, the system, iOS, will start to learn from your behaviors over time. It's a machine learning model that pays attention to when you're taking your phone off of a charger, when you're putting it on a charger, what kind of charger you're using, how much you're charging at a given time, how many times you uh, take it off in the, you know, during the day. All of that information goes into the decision on how it should charge your phone. And if you ever need to, when Leah was just talking about that notification, if you tap on the notification, notification that says uh, optimized battery charging, if you tap and hold on it, you have the option to say, actually, I want you to charge it all the way right now. So if you decide you're the person that wants to be a little bit more involved and, and you know, you get some control issues, well, you can go ahead and switch to that mode. But the idea of always having a charge to 80%, I think is that was almost just an anxiety setting that, that got put in there because people were, I just want more control over it. I just need yeah. to know that it's working this way and I want it to work that way. Let me show you. There's actually a ridiculous number of uh, Yeah, the battery's settings. got a Do you lot. have the over-the-shoulder uh, shot of uh, my phone? We need it. <laughs> no. Is, is the camera off? Yes. Okay. Well, I would show you if I could. It's a little complicated. There's battery. So you go into battery and then you'll see battery health and charging. This is on a new iPhone 15. And then... You'll see another entry says charging optimization. That's where you have to go for all this. And then the choices are optimized battery charging, which both Micah and I use, mm -hmm. or 80% limit, which means your phone will never charge more than 80%. Uh, there's, a, there's a second half to this. Somebody in the chat room is pointing out uh, in our Discord, you might not want to let your phone go below 20% either. Yeah. That's bad for batteries too, is to discharge too much. So I would only do this if you really never use more than, say, 40 or 50, at most 60% of your battery life uh, in a day because you're going to have 80% and you don't really want to go below 20%. So the idea is, yeah, you're going to get more life out of your battery if you hardly ever use it. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. You know, I buy you and I both buy new phones every year, so we don't really care. No, we're not trying to get five, six, seven years out of your battery. That would only be for people who really want to go many, many years without putting a new battery. And by the way, Apple will they will for replace a fairly the battery. reasonable mm -hmm. fee put a new battery in your phone. So. Of note, too, even if you have that 80% limit turned on, Apple will still occasionally, I should say iOS, will still occasionally charge your battery to 100%, even with that 80% limit turned on. Just to condition off. it. For the, yes, yeah. for the sake of charge limits. Yeah. Um, There's also a setting, and it, I guess it's on by default, and I don't know if it makes any sense, called clean energy charging. It have depends you on that? your location, yeah. So if you live in an area where the power grid is partially charged, uh, is partially powered by clean energy. What the phone will do is it will wait until it's a more clean energy time and will then charge your phone during that period of time. So you're saying that each and every iPhone checks to see what the electricity, what, what, what utility that you're using and then figures out when optimized you know, charging is, and then does, I don't buy that. If, if the utility, sorry. if your utility in your location, in your, your geographical region publishes the information yeah. into uh, you know, a, a re well, readable give, API. Here's why I don't buy it. Yes. For instance, here in, in Sonoma, because we're in Sonoma, a county uh, in Petaluma, you may have Pacific Gas and Electric, mm -hmm. but you may also have Sonoma Clean Power. Right. How does it know which that I don't. Company. It yeah. doesn't. It can't look at the electrons and say, oh, that's clearly solar powered. Uh, furthermore, to add <laughs> questionable question, uh, questionability to this, I use solar power. And in fact, uh, most of the time when this is charging, it's not charging from the grid. In the daytime anyway, it's charging from solar power. So ideally, really, this should only charge in the daytime <laughs> from my solar panels. Yeah. But it doesn't know any of that. So... I don't know. It's on. I think it's on by default. I don't, I'm sure I didn't turn it on. Uh, it, it's har no harm, no foul. I think it's it's probably more, to be honest, for show. It's it really not on is. whenever you travel um, because obviously it, it doesn't know the the energy. Why not? That. Or sorry, because. Let me try that again. The feature doesn't engage if your charging habits are variable. So if you don't have oh, okay. like a statistical charging or you're in a new location, such as when you travel because of this and to get the carbon emission forecast for your area, some location settings must be turned on for clean energy charging to activate. So again, it's only what's published, what's available for them to so actually read. This from. is really what Octavia Spencer made them do. I don't think she, they, <laughs> they really wanted to do this. Now, this is, in my opinion, this is greenwashing, but okay, fine. Uh, it's it, no harm. You know, we also you know, sort our recycling. Do we do whatever right, we can, right? Yeah. Whether it makes a difference, uh, we don't know. Uh, I just count, color me a little bit uh, skeptical on all of that. Uh, I My general uh, opinion is, and this is more and more true of a lot of things, the operating system manufacturer, the hardware manufacturer, know what settings are best. Mm -hmm. And unless you have a strong reason to change those defaults, I would leave it. I wouldn't change it. I would leave it. Uh, but that's my thought. Now, at least the defaults in terms of things like charging. Uh, you can have any screen size, any font size you want. There's, exactly. There's no, there's no reason to stick with that. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Provide more support for MSP teams by keeping their skills up to date in all aspects of IT, including MS Cloud, AWS, CompTIA, and so much more. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form.